Hello, Git Traders. Welcome to Git Futures Channel. This is Chris. In this video, I'm gonna show you a completely new indicators and how do we use this indicator to identify tops and bottoms and more than that. Let's get to the the first one. Definition. OBV is called on balance volume. It is a technical trading momentum indicator that uses volume flow to predict price changes. It's kind of difficult, but all you have to know is uh, a relationship between the price and the volume, and it can be show the momentum of the market. All right. Let's get to the basic logic of it. There's uh, three different cases. The first one, if today's closing price is higher than yesterday's closing price, we could call that bullish, right? Then the current OBV equals previous OBV plus today's trading volume. And um, it's kind of difficult, guys. Let's have a look at the chart. It's quite simple. Let me get you a screenshot. All right, over here, we could see this is a signal of the OBV, right? This line is the OBV, and this street line is the price line. Normally, the, this price line would be like this, like a moving average line, but we put it in a street way so that this OBV, you know, move up and down from this straight line. Okay, let's get to the, uh, the, the example. As uh, we have uh, learned the, uh, the definition, if today's closing price is higher than yesterday's closing price, all right, take an example of uh, this two one, okay, this two big candle. If uh, today's closing price is higher than yesterday's closing price, let's have a look at yesterday's closing price. This is a bearish candle, right? So yes, this closing price would be here, right? It's over here, right? And um, this is the today's bullish candle, right? So the today's bullish candle would be over here, right? At this high place. And um, it's, it's quite easy to understand as long as you guys have know the basic candlestick knowledge. All right, as we can see, it's pretty clear that uh, today's closing price is obviously higher than yesterday's, right? So this is the yesterday's OBV. Okay, then today's OBV would be yesterday's OBV plus today's volume, all right? This is today's volume. So uh, from here, yesterday's to today's, it goes higher, right? And it's quite easy to understand. Well, the second case, let's go back to the sentence. The second case would be today's closing price is lower than yesterday's closing price. Then the uh, the current OBV would be previous OBV minus today's volume. That easy to be. That's quite easy to understand. We get it uh, lower and higher. It's still this candle over here, right? This is its uh, closing price, right? The closing price. And let me write it over here. The Closing price, and um, the next candle here. This one is a bearish candle, right? So, the, this bearish candle's closing price would be at the bottom, right? So, today's closing price would be here. Obvious, they are going down from higher place to lower place, right? It's quite obvious. And uh, theory would be previous OBV minus today's trading volume. This is the trading volume, right? Minus this trading volume. So the OBV start falling down to here, right? They got a number here, so down to here. And uh, the third case, this is the third case. If today's closing price equals yesterday's closing price, then the current OBV equals previous OBV. That means uh, there's no change, all right? And uh, such cases uh, kind of rare to find. We could say always here, these two candles, their closing price is quite similar, but still a difference. So from the OBV, we still can see that it's falling down, right? It's falling down here. 
and um, this is a uh, how it works the basic logic okay the next one we need to know uh, where such indicators shows up and what kind of signals it can give us all right the scenarios where it can be used the first one OBV and the price they both go up at the same time or both go down at the same time let's have an example in this trend as line is bounce up in the middle but they fall down right and same here falling down they keep falling down and uh, the second place this is a small bullish trend here the price is moving up right and here the price is uh, going up same as uh, OBV they're going up right it's quite easy to understand such scenario shows up it means that this is a confirmed trend okay for example sometimes we trade in such places they move up and down in a fixed range right the price you can see them they're, they're changing but they they're not in a trend okay so that's uh this uh, this indicator this obv indicator could show us the trend right if it's quite obvious we could find that it's trend and uh, this is a confirmed trend we will know oh if it's confirmed confirmed bullish we can open long from now on. if it's confirmed bearish we can open short from now on, right and the next one is much more important if the OBV and price there's a divergence okay at peaks and the bottoms that would help us to identify the tops and the bottoms okay from here we could see that from uh, the price we will know that uh, the, the, they'll keep pushing up right the high place right higher and higher and higher they, they are going up it's going up and from the OBV we could know that as long as it bounces up in the middle, but in general, it's going down, right? It's going down. So they go different way, different directions. It means that after that, there will be a big change, which is a big dump after that. So this is an indicator that could show us the peak. Okay, this is the top, right? It's kind of like the MACD, we talk about it, right? They're not in the same direction. It's quite simple. And in the last example, we know that they keep going up, right? And they keep going, keep going up. And uh, the price keep moving forward, moving forward. And from now, you know that from this part, it's still going up. But from the OBV, we know that they are falling down from now, on, right? So you should be careful. Probably over here, this period, you would know. This time to close your positions, right? And this is uh, the best part of it. It can help us to identify tops and the bottoms. And uh, the next one, the third scenario would be a consolidation. All right, a breakout after the consolidation. And uh, let's have a look at the chart again from some examples. We will know that from this chart over here, guys, from here, as long as I have a small pump here but uh, in this range the, pep, the the price barely moved right it's in a fixed range and after that there's a breakout just break this previous high and uh, a bullish trend showed up right such things would happen in the candlestick patterns as well like this period guys same theory if the price is staying in a range okay and barely moved that means it offers the investors especially some big traders a big fund they are buying tokens with fixed price it's a perfect opportunity for them to buy such things because the price is stable right it's not changeable so they can buy a lot of tokens in a stable price without anybody know that so in this period the market gained momentum and after that they could push out the price right this is a indicator that some institutions some capitals some professional quantitative traders they are using it as well okay and it can be used to enter the position or market quietly especially for the long-term trader for some big fund this is the whole content about this obv and uh, if you guys have any questions you can just ask me or leave it in a comment or we could talk about it in the uh, live next monday all right and if you guys like the video don't forget to give us a thumbnail and uh, subscribe to our channel. 
and see you next money guys bye bye